Shot Show 2017 at the Caracal booth, and I wanted to go ahead and run over some some of the pistols that they're coming out with. You got two different options here. You have the F model. Both of these are the F model. Yeah, great We have one with a quick sight system. They're bringing that back, and they're also bringing back the original system that has the traditional rear sight setup. Now, I'm going to go over the differences one at a time. Let's talk about the quick sight system first. The quick sight system is basically where you push forward the rear sight and it's integrated into the slide so you don't have to worry about it ever moving. And then you have a front sight and they're going to be coming out with aftermarket supports or night sights and stuff like that in the future, but you know, for right now, this, what you see is what you get, but not really that big of a deal. So you also have a shelf here if you like to be tactical and rack, rack the slide off of a belt or whatever. So that's pretty much it for that, and it's pretty much the same. So I'll, we'll just go over to the standard model. Okay, and here's the standard model. As I said, it's uh, basically just a standard sight setup. And uh, they're going to MSRP for basically the same price, about $5.99. So, with this, you are getting a full-size pistol, a 4-inch barrel, and you're getting a, a, a height that is smaller than the Glock 17 by a little bit. It is actually exactly 5 and 5 sixteenths of an inch high. That is about 5.4 inches if you want to be technical, and that, that is actually making this smaller than the Glock 17, but the interesting thing is it actually holds one more round. Usually pistols around this size that are that exact size, a little bit smaller than the Glock 17, are only holding 16. So this is actually a big step in compressing the size of the gun, but also getting more rounds. This is pretty much what I've been waiting for on the market. So what you can see is a lot of inspiration from the Glock design. It's because the designer was also working on the Steyr and this pistol. This pistol was originally produced in the United Arab Emirates, but now they're producing them all in-house. So let's go ahead and look at the pistol and see what's a little bit different. It breaks down very similar to a Glock. But it's a lot easier because this is basically just a shelf instead of serrated little levers. So I do like that. We'll put down that for a second. What I want you to notice is the breech face and all the firing controls are in a chassis system. So basically it's one piece that comes out. This makes it very easy to manufacture. Basically you send the cost savings to you so you can actually afford this very robust pistol. This had to pass a breach obstru or bore obstruction test where they lodged a bullet into the bore and they had to shoot another bullet out. So that's very unique. You don't find very many guns. The only other gun that I know of that passed that kind of test and was required to was the HPA USP. So that's a very interesting uh, setup right there. And this is a very hefty piece of metal right here. the frame you can see again we got the chassis system you've got a good amount of rail length right here and you can see the internals are very simplified now the difference between this pistol and the styre that I was a little confused about when I was shooting this was that with the styre you basically have a internal um, firing pin block in the slide only here you're going back a little bit more conventionally you're not using a button per se but you're using a lever a lateral moving lever right here and this piece on the trigger bar right here actually pushes on this piece right here and it pushes out this way and it gets out of the way of the firing pin. So that way you're safe to drop it and it's all good to go. So this chassis system is very inexpensive to manufacturers, saving costs for production and stuff. So overall, I think it's a pretty good design and I hope a lot of pistols take lessons from this. So you're looking at standard rifling for the bore and these are hammer forwards. This thing is pretty much one of the toughest pistols on the market and it's been heavily tested as with most of all the other uh, products that Caracal is coming out with this year. So look forward to these on the market later this year when they get fully tooled up. Personally, I'm looking forward to the quick sight system. So, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below or visit Caracal on their website, link down below.